what's going on and here again welcome back to the channel sorry I haven't been around for a while I did take my yearly holiday to Europe but I'm back now but that's not important what's important is that I have got a new 116 scale RC truck this is the S910 Pro brushless so we're going to have a look at this one now and see all the good things and the bad things about it. All right, so as you can see, it's a 116 scale car. There is the remote. The remote is very light and cheap. Only does take three AA batteries, which is good. Um, still got all your functions on there. So you've got your steering trim, you've got your, uh, your dual rate, and you do have your throttle, um, uh, speed there as well. So if you're starting out, uh, you know with a small kid or someone uh, You can dial that right down nice and slow so you won't break and crash this thing or if you're a professional not like myself uh, You can dial that right up and do all your high-speed jumps and uh, Go to the skate park or take it for a bash somewhere like that. All right, and as always You've got all your bits and bobs here. You've got your USB charger, which charges straight into the balance lead of your battery. I've uh, got your user manual right there and your parts list as well. It shows you all the stuff, you know, how it all works. It's got all the parts list there. If you do break anything, they did give us a couple of hub carriers right there. So two front, two rear. We've got a wheel wrench as well and a couple of screws in there as well. For the oh here the screws and a screwdriver for the rear wing, which will sit right there. So yeah, you got all that, and obviously a couple of stickers that will throw them on. So they say it is a bison. It's not an original, genuine bison, but uh, AliExpress mock-up. But uh, yeah, we'll get these stickers on. But before we get the stickers on, one thing we must do first. Oh, look at that. Ah, that water mongrel. They've put the plastic underneath the uh, the body post pieces here. So now, that means I have to unscrew the whole thing. And, oh, that was a disaster. I thought that was going to come off nice and clean. But, no. Let's just continue doing this. Oh. Disappointing. Just looking for a nice clean removal. But that'll do. There we go. Nice and shiny right there. Looks ugly with these. I'll fix these up later. So if you haven't noticed already, it does not have any external body post. They are inside, uh, held on with Velcro and some guide pins. So I'll show you that now. What I don't like about this is that you pull it up from the top and I am worried. So that's the underside there. So you've got a little strip of Velcro, a couple of guide holes right there for your pins, which are right there. I am worried that these little things are gonna end up snapping straight off. But um, that's the way they designed it. And possibly if they do snap off later on, uh, I'll have to make up a mod where I can put some body posts on this or I'll just leave the velcro on there so moving on to the electrics and the drivetrain uh, we do have a 1500 milliamp uh, Lion battery 20c 2s right there but I will be changing this to a lipo battery because makes it run just that a little bit better it does have a three wire servo in there 2 to 3S ESC and a brushless motor in there, which is a Surpass Hobby. And I don't know if you can see those numbers there, but it's a 2845 4200 kV motor sitting in there. So that's why I wanted the Pro because it's already got the brushless upgrade there. The coilover shocks are not the best, they are just. Um, yeah, they're just cheapy shocks, which we will change later on. But for now, they will do the job. They are not oil filled. They are all steel. Uh, but yeah, from looking at the screw at the top, uh, yeah, they're not oil filled shocks at all. So they're just uh, 
they're just dummy ones, but they look good though. It's got front LED lights there. We'll get them plugged in. Um, tires aren't too bad. Feel a little bit hard. Um, it's like cheapy rubber. Uh, we'll have to see what kind of surface these uh, these tires will grip onto. And we'll go with that for now. And also it does have a wheelie bar at the back uh, for the power that it says it can do. So apparently we're going to do a speed test on this. It said it can do up to 70 kilometers an hour. So we'll see how we go with that. So the differentials are metal, which are inside there. We have full metal, full metal differentials and we have uh, solid steel drive shafts right there all the way through. And I have taken a tire off and they, they do have uh, bearings at the end of the drive shafts right there. So on the back, we do have dog bones uh with uh with the out drives but on the front we do have uh cbd shafts on the front there but that's something we can probably change to the back because i know uh, a lot of the times that dog bones do fall out on these little cars hopefully on this one it doesn't though so also as you can see the steering uh linkages are non-adjustable so it's got fixed steering um, so your toe in and toe outs and stuff like that are non-adjustable. So it's pretty much set and forget with those things there. Your upper and lower um, swing arms. So man, these are really, really thin. I'm not sure how long these are going to last. Um, mate, they even, yeah, they feel like toothpicks. But um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Hopefully there is an upgrade to uh, get some metal swing arms in there or some uh, more durable ones. Uh, we'll give this a light bash down at the park, I'd say, before we uh, take it to a skate park or anything like that. All right, so we'll get this powered on. We'll show you the steering and the speed of this on the bench. Let's press and hold there, green light flashing. Red light. Green light. All right, so steering, not too bad. For a Lion battery, it's not too bad at all. And for speed, so this, this would be low power. Uh, sorry, low power, uh, low speed. I'll just put that on the low speed right there. We'll crank this right up to full. Right there. All right, hopefully we can get to 70 kilometers an hour like it says in the book. Wow, this thing's gonna go great. All right, so I did throw the stickers on and it does look so much better. And this color just looks really, really nice. Love this lightning blue color that it's got and it matches really well with those red shocks. Can't wait to take this one out. All right, guys, so I'm out here uh, at Rissol and Roger. Just sort of caught up for the afternoon, but I'm going to do a speed run as well. Hopefully you can hear me okay with this uh, wind. So I've got my GPS on there ready to go. So it's already recording. It does say three kilometers at the moment, but uh, we'll get this one going and see if we can get it to 70 kilometers like they did say on the box. But obviously that would be on 3S. So we're going to test this on 2S and 3S for now. All right, guys, going to do my speed run. So at the moment, I'm just running a 1500 with the battery that it came with, which is a like a nickel metal hydrate battery. So we'll see how we go on 2S with this one. It's not too bad. Let's see what we've got. I'll do another pass. Bring this one back and see what we've got for 2s all right so as expected on 2s we got 45 kilometers an hour so that's not too bad for 2s on that uh type of battery 
pretty sure that if we did use a LiPo 2S we would get um, much better speed maybe about a 51 I reckon on that so I did bring a LiPo 2S so we might try that as well and see if we can get a better speed alright guys so I've put in a LiPo 2S this time so we're going to try that and I've reset the speed meter sitting on three kilometers at the moment so we'll give this a go now so we got 45 on the stock battery that it did come with that's the battery that it did come with that's just a lion battery right there so this one's the lipo 2s we'll see how we go with it all right let's see how we go this time let's get that back on truck all right let's see how we go It's a little bouncy in the back <laughs> with those non oil filled shockers. <laughs> Alright, let's bring this back and see what we've got. And we do have exactly the same speed 45 kilometers an hour, even on the LiPo battery. All right, so I was expecting probably like a 50, but that's okay. We'll change this over to a 3S battery now, and uh, hopefully we get up to the 60K mark, which probably what I'm looking for. I know the box did say 70, but uh, I don't think we're going to get there. But let's see how we go anyway. All right, guys, I've got the 3S in there at the moment. As you can see, that is a much bigger battery. I've had to put the XT60 converter on there. This is not suited for this one but that's okay but uh i'm gonna reset this it's still on 45 but i'll reset that and we'll see how we go for 3s there we go three beeps 3s steering throttle all right let's go no one's coming all right, let's see how we go. Whoa, so much more faster. All right. Definitely, because it's on 3S, let's bring it back. Wow. Wow. Uh, I, said, I said up to 60, we'll see how we go. Wow, that is quick. All right, let's bring it back, see what we've got. All right, what are your bets? I said 64. You're the winner, 66. You're the closest. 66 kilometers an hour. So that is not too bad, but um, no, nah, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. So uh, let's continue having a bash on, uh, on 3S and hopefully nothing breaks. Oh. <laughs> oh. Get into that jumping. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Straight on its roof. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, nice one. Nice. No. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Got it. Oh, there goes the body. 
<laughs> Tree caught me. They don't do too well uphill. Oh, <laughs> it's always a tree. Woo! Beautiful. Oh, man, that took a beating. In general, folks, we might have quite enough having a little bit more runtime. The only upgrade I will have to do is um, are those shockers. They are quite bouncy, especially in the rear. Uh, I thought the tyres would wouldn't hold up, but um, they're doing all right. They're doing really, really good. Apart from you know giving it a bash on the jumps, I've broken the body and and bent that front right CVD. But apart from that, this thing's taken a tumble, and you've seen it taking tumbles and hitting the trees and. I'm really, really happy with it. It's really held up really nice. For a hundred bucks, or just over a hundred dollars on AliExpress, can't go wrong. Lovely. So good. Oh well, spoke too soon. And I broke on the shocker as well. Well, that's going to be the end of that. Didn't like these shockers anyway, because they're not uh, oil filled. They look good, but they're just not oil filled. All right, guys, so that is going to be it for this car. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you like, and I will put a uh, link in the description below of where you can get one of these uh, little cars from. So